Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to welcome you guys to Monday morning motivation, a half hour power with the queen. Of course, I am your certified life coach, Queen Angela, officially known as the queen of collaboration across these social media platforms. I tell you, I get excited every opportunity I get to come before you guys and get another opportunity to share. So I, I, I count it an honor and a privilege to be able to come before you guys and to be able to share. So I don't take it lightly. So if you would, please share this with someone in your circle of influence, y'all. I tell you, these days are yet rolling on through, rolling on through. Today is April the 22nd, y'all. We got one more Monday in this month. It seemed like the month just came in. Yeah, we got five Mondays in this month. Five Mondays. So we got another Monday. We yet pressing, y'all. We're heading into the fifth month. Y'all, this year it's yet going. But guess what? You still have the opportunity to walk in all that that God has promised for you, all that that he has purposed for you, because he's not forgotten you. He has not given up on you. Everything that he said you shall do, you shall do. Everything that he has already ordained for you, it shall come to pass. You got to align with that thing. He's told some of us that we need to be writing books. We need to be collaborating with people. We need to be doing events. We need to be hosting conferences. We need to be putting together stuff. We need to be coming together because there's people out there that are hurting. There's people out there that's losing hope. There's people out there that, that, that y'all, they're, 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 they're losing it. You, you turn on the news. Every time you turn on the news, there's somebody shooting. It's, 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 this has happened. There's a lockdown here. There's, there's a flood here. It is so much going on. This is the time that for the believers to come together on all platforms, you got to come together and you got to stand together. I don't care if it's in poetry. I don't care if it's in, in the magazine. I don't care if it's on a podcast. I don't care what it's on, but you got to come together. And you got to stand together and you got to stand united, y'all. And we continue to fall for anything, y'all. Nothing is going to get accomplished. I, I remember my mom used to tell me all the time if you stand for nothing, you will fall for any and everything, y'all. It is not the season to get weary, it is not the se season to get faint. I'm telling you, if you know without a shadow of a doubt, that he called you to this, he purposed you for this, then you need to be walking in it and you don't need to look back. You don't need to look to the left. You don't need to look to the right. You need to look straight ahead and stay focused on that that he's called you to do. If it's to host a podcast, if it's to do a magazine, whatever he's called you to do. Y'all don't think that if you don't do it, that you are hurting somebody else. He gave you that gift. He didn't give it to Angela. He didn't give it to Shanette. Good morning, Queen. He didn't give it to Diana. He didn't give it to Latanya, Natalie, Patrice, Trevita, Black Diamond, Dr. Shanjira, Simone. Those queens are walking in their purpose. They are doing that that they think that God has purposed them for. They're not looking back. They're not questioning it. No matter what the noise that's being said around them, about them, to, in conversations, whatever it may be, they are not letting the noise silence them. They are silencing the noise by doing what they are called to do. And not, I mean, and they are being authentic with it. And I'm so humble and so grateful to be working amongst some amazing queens. I tell you, when I started out doing the podcast, I wanted to quit a couple of times. 
And I'm just being transparent this morning for that person that have thought about quitting. These thoughts that we have, these feelings that we have, these emotions that we have, it's okay. It's okay to feel how you feel. Because if we don't have these emotions, then we become a, a, a emotionless person. We, we become a soulless person. But when you can experience all different types of emotions and know how to, somebody else may be feeling, you can have empathy for that next person because you have experienced that and you knew how you felt when you went through that. Then you can look at the next person and say, hey, I knew how I felt when I went through that and I don't want the next person to go through that. So sometimes when we're going through these things, we have to understand that it's not always for us, but for situations that we may encounter, those that we may come in contact with. So we have to understand that in everything that we do, there's a lesson to learn. So when you get that lesson, you can go on to the, you can elevate to the next level. You can, you, you can elevate to, to the next advancement, as Brother Hooney would say. He don't call them lessons. He call them advancement. So you can advance, evolve, go to the next level. Let's see, once you get it, it's just like when you come into the knowledge of the word, he said, once you come into the knowledge of, then you are accountable for it. So then once you know better, then you have to do better. So now that you know how to do these things, then you have to operate in these things. So now that you know you have this gift, then you cannot sit down on the gift that he's giving you. Because he give, he give you the gift so that it will make room for you to do other things that he has already allowed. See, sometimes we don't understand why things line up the way they line up for us. We don't understand why he put us amongst different people that are doing different things and it allow us to do different things so they open doors for different other things. See, a lot of people, they, they probably wonder, well, why am I over here with this lady that is doing all this stuff? She write books. I don't write books. She, she, but guess what? Evidently, if you come across my platform and, and you hang around my platform, there's definitely a connection with some books. He he he's 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 told you something about some books, and you have been disobedient about it, or you just choose not to accept it right now. Because guess what? I was just like that. So guess what? He'll place you around people that have been through what you're going through, that may can help you, encourage you uh, uh, along the way. Because I come across a lot of people that. For what reason or another, they feel like they're not qualified. They feel like they, they don't have the education. They don't have the degrees. They don't have the titles. They don't have all of that so-called uh, uh, quote, unquote, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, status quo. I, I used to be that person. That, that thought I had to have, you know, all of those things that the Joneses had. I, I, I was more, it, it wasn't the material um, um, name brand stuff, but it was the, the I, I'm going to say the the educational the 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 sophisticated the 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 um what they say um um bougie yeah that 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 used to that that used to be me that's how I was in school they used to say I, I I was I didn't think I was that way but that's what they used to say so that 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 mentality see a, a lot of us have these gifts and hey, hey, Patrice, and um, God has told us to, to do these things, yet we shy away because we don't have all the credentials. Now, see me, I'm the type of person, I don't care about the credentials because I, I, I work hard. 
And and I feel like if I can go in the ring and work hard enough to compete with you, then I should have the right to compete with you if I can. Because I've been amongst a lot of people without my degrees. Y'all know 30 years later, here I am getting degrees. I'm working on my master's. I have an associate. I have a bachelor's. Now I'm working on my master's. And it's just like, um, I didn't allow the degrees to stop me. I didn't allow the titles to stop me because if if I did, y'all, a lot of y'all wouldn't even be right here on these platforms. Y'all, it, there will be no podcast. I would not be a host on, on the WBNN. I, I, I would not be um, the International Internet Radio Hall of Fame broadcasting um, class of 2023 um, in Shawnee. I, I I would not have the magazine. I, Lord knows I wouldn't be the author of now 86 books, planners, journals. I, I would not be doing none of that. Wouldn't be able to open the door for a lot of people that got they 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 they, they stepping out there, but they still kind of nervous and they just need that little push. And I'm just right there to push them on out there to let them know that, hey, don't look back. Because if you look back, you're going to set yourself back. Keep looking forward and keep moving forward. There's no need to look back because there's nothing back there. There's nothing you can do about nothing in the past. The past is the past and nothing you can do to change it. So don't even look back. So keep moving forward. Worry about the now. You can hope for tomorrow, but guess what? It's not promised. And guess what? If, if you want to be real with yourself, tomorrow never gets here. It never gets here because tomorrow is going to be another tomorrow. So it's always going to be a tomorrow. So guess what? You always have hope. Hmm. Understand that. Understand that because he said it in his word. Y'all, he's his word is not gonna return to him, boy. I, I I've been over here working on this book. I'm excited about this book. Yes, it drops in eight days. Do I have all of the people? No. But guess what? God has opened up the door to allow individuals to be a part of this book and to share. Not only that, he's opened it up to where it's not just gonna be poetry, it's gonna be about tapping into your mental health. Tapping into your 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 self care, learning how to to make self care a daily thing, y'all. This stuff that I'm telling y'all, I got to get back into it too. So guess what? I got to incorporate it into my daily life. I got to incorporate it into everything that I'm doing. So the things that I'm telling y'all on here every day, every Monday, every time I come on these podcasts, guess what? I've got to deal with it first before I can come on here and tell y'all. So guess what? I'm dealing with stuff behind the scenes too. Y'all may not see me go through everything because I may not wear it on my shoulder. I may not wear it on my face. I may not wear it on me. But guess what? I have my moment. But I have a tribe that I can go to. I, 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 can, I can let my guard down. I, I, I can be transparent. I can yell, I can cry, I can do what I need to do to get it out. Like those, 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 those pictures that I show y'all, that the, the different things that I show y'all, yeah, I'd be having to coach myself. If I hadn't, if I don't go through this, y'all, how can I tell you how to go through it and how to come through it? I used to wonder, Lord, I, I, I keep hearing everybody say that, that you're good. I keep hearing everybody say that you this, that you that, but I never was, I, I, I truly didn't understand it for myself because I truly had not had that experience. But I began to have that experience. I began to walk into those things. I began to experience things. And Lord, when I began to experience things, I was like, oh Lord, I wish I had not, I wish I had not opened my big old mouth. I wish I had not kept my mouth closed. So we have, and as I grow, as I mature, and as I, as I continue to learn, because I'm learning every day, I'm grateful for Apostle Dr. Kimberly Thomas, because she's faithfully 
on that prayer call with us every morning, pouring into us, praying over us, and, and teaching us. When I I'm so grateful for her. I pray that God continue to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that she won't have room enough to store, that she will continue to pour into those that she's pouring into spiritually and naturally. Because she's truly been a blessing to our prayer call. For the last four years, she's been pouring into us, even when she wasn't able to be on. But for the for three of the four years, she's been on there faithfully. And I thank God for her. I thank God for her. I thank God for her. But y'all, when I tell you, make use of every moment, y'all. Make use of every moment that you have. Don't put off what you can do tomorrow what you can do now. Don't wait for the next hour. Do it now, y'all. Do it now. Stop saying you're going to write that book. Stop saying you're going to write for the magazine. Stop saying you're going you gonna to put on a conference. Stop waiting for everybody to do something with you. When individuals have laid open the door, I'm talking about the platform has been built, been right b- b- placed before you. And if some of you guys, if it was a snake, you would have been ate up. That 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 serpent would have ate you up. Y'all don't allow the gifts of God, those things that He's poured into you, those things that He's given you, that will make room for you to go to the wayside. A lot of us say we're using our gifts. We're saying we're doing what God has told us to do. But y'all, it's more than just getting on a live. It's more than just getting on these podcasts. And and, 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 and it's time to get back off of these these social media and to get back in these streets, y'all. Because there's people out here in these, these, that's not on social media. There's people out here in the streets that don't have social media, that don't have connections to the internet, the the phones. They don't have it. They're out here in these streets and they need us. Y'all, and we got to get back to the community. I keep hollering the village mentality until we get it and understand it, y'all. We got to get back to it. Four years ago, God dropped in my spirit. Heal the city and heals. Heal the city and heal. And I kept wondering, what did that mean? What did that mean? See, he 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 was showing me that it was going to take us not just coming together in 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 the natural because we was going to go through this pandemic. I didn't know that, but y'all, we was able to come together through prayer. We were able to meet in the spirit through 121 days of prayer. We was able to come together and we was able to stomp stomp on some things. We were able to, we watched God move. When nothing that nobody told us. We watched God move during those 121 days of prayer over these last four years. And anybody that has been a part of it can witness it and can tell you, can testify to that. We, we've had individuals that have been set free, that has been healed, that has been, I mean, things have Signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow, and they did. And we we can testify and witness to that. But I'm just grateful. And this morning, I just want to encourage you guys. I I, I, I didn't want to come on this morning. I I wasn't going to come on this morning. Like, I I literally, it said I had five minutes. I, I went and I said everything. Up. I wasn't gonna come on. I said, you know what? I'm telling, I'm always telling people that they gotta press no matter what. And if I can tell people that, I gotta keep showing them. I can't throw in the towel. One, I can't just give in just because I don't feel good today. Angela, you didn't feel good last week, but you kept going. You didn't feel good the week before, but you kept going. It's been plenty of times you didn't feel good. So what's different between today and the other times you didn't feel good? So now what's your excuse? Yeah, that's the talk I had with myself this morning, y'all. 
And I have to have those talks some days. And I know I'm not the only one. But guess what? I know that it's bigger than me. And that I'm not doing this for just me. I'm doing this for that person that's on the verge of quitting. That person that, that that's on the verge of birthing that book. That person that's on the verge of, of birthing that documentary. That person that's on the verge of birthing that podcast. That that magazine, that newspaper, that 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 whatever you're on the verge of birthing, you can't miscarriage right now. You you can't just keep hanging around the delivery room. The delivery room is the only is 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 to get you ready for the delivery and to deliver the baby. Once you deliver the baby, you got to come out of the delivery room. And you can't keep waiting in the waiting room. So you got to come out of the waiting room into the delivery room and then you go into the recovery room and then you got to be ready to go out. You got to be ready to go home. You got to be ready to go back and face the music at some point in time. Because we can't stay where we are. We always got to be willing to evolve. I give a shout out to Shanette. Because Shanette has come on this podcast. Not only did she come on the podcast, she came into my circle and just began to be a part of my circle. Everything I'm saying, every time I turn around, I, the lady was everywhere, being a voice, allowing her voice to speak. Because for so long, I hear her say that she was quiet. All she did was watch. All she did was to be quiet because people always tell her that to be quiet, that don't 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 mind grown people's business and, and, and things of that nature. What what what's what what happened here, staying here, and, and things like that. You know, a lot of us have been been taught to be quiet, that, that our voice don't matter, that, that we should be we should be seen and not heard. It's time out for that. If you want change, you have to be the change. And I am the change that I desire to see in this world. I can't be quiet. I can't sit quiet. I can't watch things happen and do nothing about it. When I see something going on, I have to speak up. I have to speak up against injustice. I have to speak up against um, inhumane things. I have to speak up. Because if it was me, I would want somebody to speak up for me. So we can't get in a place where we get comfortable and we think that the world revolves around us and that, no, this is not going to happen to us because it can. It will. Because we can get so high up and he can set us down. Ask me how I know. It has happened to me. And I remember my mama used to tell me when I was growing up, when I was little, before she left this earth, she told me, those same people you pass on your way up, she said, you'll pass them on your way down. So you treat them right. Because if you ever hit the bottom again, you're going to need those same people to help lift you up. But see, a lot of us, we get stuck in our pride. We get stuck in our ways. We, we hurt people, we do stuff to people, and then we don't want to ask for forgiveness. We'd rather walk away and be stuck in our pride and walk around with unforgiveness in our heart when the other person is going on with their life, but yet we're hurting. We're, we're carrying all of this stuff in the inside of us. We, we're wondering why we stay sick. We're wondering why this always happened to us. Sometimes we got to really search ourselves. And we really got to look deep and really find out really what's going on and what part do we play in every situation. We got to understand that we play a part in everything that happens in our life because we have the power. We can speak life. If we are constantly speaking life, then guess what? Life is going to happen and it's going to happen abundantly. But if we speak in those negative things, then we're going to be always in a negative state. And I can't deal with that. I don't like negative. 
You want things to manifest in your life and materialize in your life. You got to speak those things into your life. And while you're waiting for those things to happen, you got to do something. Faith without works is dead. We can't sit around and wait for those books to drop and, and, and wait for those podcasts to, to come forth and to wait for these conferences to happen, to wait for these events to take place. We got to get together, put them together, come together and do them. If you know that you need something in your area, in your community, you need something going on in your area, in your community, then you need to get with some people and you need to start getting it together. Y'all, it should be something. If, if, if you are a part of a, a, a program that, that has over five people, man, y'all should be having something going on every month. Y'all should be going to somebody's city every month, hosting events, doing something, getting together. If it ain't nothing but a, a meet and greet, a networking event, two, three hours, people just coming together to talk about and to share resources. Y'all, we got to get out of this, this being stuck. Y'all, we got to get back into socializing, village mentality, family mentality, thinking about the things of others like they say over in Ephesians. Don't always just think of your things. But think of other people's things too. That's what the words say. 90 seconds. Not only do the words say that, the word also says, do what you do unto others as you will want done unto you. So that that you're believing God for, for yourself, try and do it for somebody else and watch what God do for you. Watch and see. You believe in God for a miracle? I dare you to step out and do something for somebody else that they didn't think that that was going to happen for 60 them. 60 seconds. And watch what happened. Be a blessing to somebody and watch what happened. You never know what the next person is in need of. And you never know how God is ready to bless you because you're being a blessing to somebody else. Y'all have a blessed week. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all back here on next Monday.